Hey y'all, this is Ursula, the Harvey Container Gardener. So y'all, I hope everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful Saturday morning. I wanna welcome all you guys to my Harvey Garden. So y'all, I am out here just trying to get a little stuff done. Y'all, it's not enough hours in a day. So between working a full-time job and then not able to get out here because of the extreme heat, and we have been getting a daily rain shower, um, sometimes flooding rain. <laughs> so I have not been able to get out into the garden and do some of the things that I have been wanting to do. So today, y'all, we just going to walk around and see what the garden is doing. Because like I said, your girl haven't been able to get out here and do much. I want to turn y'all around. I want y'all to see what I'm looking at. So, that that's my clouds, y'all. So, we'll be getting some rain pretty soon. We've been getting daily, daily rain. And y'all, I, I, I love the rain. If y'all know me, I love the rain. But I can't do a whole lot when it's out here raining. So, let me just turn you guys around and show y'all what's going on in a garden. Hopefully, I can get out here pretty soon and get some stuff done. But, let me show y'all this. So, from the side, <laughs> this is that blackberry. Y'all see how long those things are hanging out over there? Now, no berries are on them, but they are growing like crazy. So, hopefully, we get some blackberries. We have a lot of new growth on these vines it's looking kind of healthy down up in the inside I have a lot of yellow leaves so I went ahead and ran out here and I added some um, all-purpose fertilizer to the pot so hopefully all of that will die back and clear up and maybe we'll get some more berries so y'all right here this is that uh, brown turkey fig tree that I was gifted by Miss Linda, the New Orleans gardener. And y'all, it is looking fantastic. I haven't seen any figs on it yet, but it's still little. But the leaves are looking great. It's getting full. So back here is one of the blueberry bushes and y'all this one was completely bare so the leaves are coming in this one was bare it started branching off and getting new leaves and stems and i had to kind of contain it a little bit and this is the only one that i have seen that is still trying to produce a couple of little berries not a lot um, banana plant, dwarf banana plants. Yeah. <laughs> I think I have too much in this area. I may have to kind of like spread all of this out. So that is the pink lemonade bush. Y'all see how bushy this thing is? No pink lemonade berries on it. No flowers. A lot of new growth. It is just bushing out. So, hopefully it'll be ready. It, it looks healthy to get some pink lemonade berries, maybe in the fall. If not, hopefully in spring of next year. But it is growing beautiful. So, this is the um, blueberry bush that I had to hire from the birds. And my goal was to go ahead and take, take them out of here. But I want to keep it up because if I get one that has some berries on it, I could take this pot out and I can replace it with the pot that has some berries in it to kind of keep my berries from the birds. So, y'all, yeah, I think I need to spread out my berry bushes and my banana plant because that cone right there is really, really tight. But everything is looking good. Looking happy. So, y'all, 
we're supposed to have like a couple of cooler days i kind of feel it but then i don't because i'm starting to sweat a little bit not as much as i usually do but let's go ahead and get through this y'all so hopefully i can get it done before the rain starts because it's coming let me show y'all this let me show y'all this hold on all right so this is the one um little small eggplant that i was going to get rid of i decided to go ahead and just put it in a pot and i really just have it sitting inside the grow bag because i don't have anything growing in here as of yet except for some weeds i'm gonna get here and go ahead and take all the weeds out add some fertilizer and i'm going to plant something in these two grow bags um these garlics i think i'm gonna go ahead and just pull them up because i don't think they're gonna be big they're gonna just be little tiny garlics i'm gonna go ahead and pull that up and clean those beds out like i say add some fertilizer to it and get it ready to plant something so these are the two eggplants that i planted earlier and there's a couple of little eggplants on it y'all so i'm ready for them i love uh fried eggplants all right y'all so the apple tree i have this covered because of whatever it was that was tearing the leaves up and starting to get some new leaves still got this one little apple on here and there's another little one up here other than that yeah there's nothing else on this tree all right y'all so these grow bags um i got five of them four right here and then one on the very end that's empty i'm gonna move the empty one over here and i'm gonna take the wood chips out and i think i'm gonna start planting some carrots maybe some turnips and radishes yeah i think that's what i'm gonna plant along this fence in these grow bags i'm gonna definitely direct sow the carrots i'm not sure about the turnips and the radishes i haven't decided yet i'll figure that out but eggplants are doing great and i will leave them over there so in front of the crop cage so as y'all know i went ahead and took the shade screen and i threw it across the top of the crop cage just to kind of shade the tomatoes out a little bit and it seems to be doing great um hopefully i could see a difference in the tomatoes because y'all the heat was not allowing those things to grow so down here y'all it's it's a mess <laughs> so this bin went to seed this is parsley so i'm going to take that up and i'm going to plant some more drop some more parsley seeds swiss chard an empty pot that was swiss chard so most swiss chard it's not doing that great it's still alive it just i guess the sun is just beaming down on it uh some more onion or green onion i'm not sure which one um those were onions kale um this was also green onions uh, parsley and chives look like the chives is the only thing that's still doing good maybe a few green onions back here but i'll go ahead and cut that off yeah it's just it needs to be cleaned up y'all bad all right so over here i have um two tomato plants both of these are the cherry tomatoes and there's a lot of flowers on here they're looking good this one has a couple of flowers on it so eventually i am going to take those pots off of this um this wood let them sit directly on the ground because they are going to get tall so back behind the cherry tomatoes i have jalapenos they're looking good and jalapenos back on that side y'all i am surprised my strawberries that i grew from seed i'm starting to get little strawberry flowers 
So these are the Alpine strawberries. I think the strawberries are supposed to be really, really small. Y'all, those are sweet potatoes. Y'all see them vines? These vines are longer and bigger than the ones that I have back up behind the greenhouse. But yep, that is sweet potatoes in the square grow bags. All right, y'all. So in the middle section, I have this first. This is, uh, I believe it's a yellow bell pepper. Y'all, look at my red kidney beans. Y'all see these beans on these plants? I mean, it's full. They're not that big yet, but it is full of beans. So I am going to add some more fertilizer to those. Hopefully, I get me a lot of red kidney beans off of these plants. And this is the second one. Y'all see these red kidney beans? So, can't wait for that. Another bell pepper. This is a orange bell pepper. Um, a couple of more tomato plants. I recently cut, um, trimmed the stems back on these because um, every time I look up, there was some hornworms. But they're looking good. So this is the, I think it's a straight eight cucumbers that I have in a pot behind it. Nothing on them, but I have a couple of them. See like a little cucumber right here. One right there. Back up in there, there's a few. Um, there's a lemon cucumber over here. So a few little cucumbers are still on these pots on these plants in these pots but as y'all can see the cucumbers have gone wild i mean absolutely wild so i will be cutting these back really 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 soon so y'all this is that one collard tree that I thought had died and it didn't so I went ahead and put it in here it's looking okay it's not looking great some of the worms had gotten to it so I had to clean it off next to it I have uh, bell pepper so this one is doing really good a couple of bell peppers down up in there all around here and this one is doing good as well uh, a couple of little leaf footed bugs on my peppers y'all better go so i have a couple of bell peppers here look like i got a bug because i see look like poop i'm gonna have to get in here and check it but it has a couple of little peppers on it looking pretty good y'all looking pretty good this one i've only seen one little pepper way to the back up in here so this one is starting to put on some peppers these pepper plants are the ones that are planted from seed and they're starting to get some flowers they're starting to develop so hopefully i have some peppers over there y'all i wanted a lot of bell peppers oh so this little tomato plant i see i have a tomato so let me go ahead and take this off i'm gonna show y'all i think a lizard has been oh i don't know a lizard has been eating on my tomatoes all right so i'm gonna try this one out um i have a couple of tomato plants right here i know it's probably hard to see because of all of the plants in here so let me get out all right so at the very end I have a cherry tomato and y'all I am no longer leaving my tomatoes 
on the plants i am taking them when they are ready and i'm gonna show y'all why <laughs> okay so this tomato was perfectly fine yesterday on the plant i come this morning and it's still sitting on the stem looking like this so something has been in here eating and it also got this one i don't know what it is my husband said it could be a lizard i don't know what it is but i am not leaving my tomatoes on anymore come on tomato these black cherry tomatoes y'all they are delicious and i have one more over here that i'm going to take all right so let's see y'all the tomatoes are tall as the crop cage <laughs> They are as tall as the crop cage. I've been in here trimming a lot of the leaves, the stems, just trying to keep it. Oh, uh, look at this one, y'all. Started to turn and it has split. Okay, I'm going to take that one off. All right, y'all. One other place we're going to go is behind the greenhouse and y'all I have to do some maintenance back here because it's uh, a lot of grass but let's go let's hope there's no snake back here <laughs> so y'all that is my okra my corn back here is not looking that great y'all I'm not gonna go I'm not going to go back. I don't have on my boots. Y'all see how I'm sweating. I don't have on my boots. And I don't want to go and step on nothing. <laughs> Y'all. It. I'm surprised the rain haven't started yet. Because it looks like it's about to come. But whew, Your girl about to go inside. I don't like all the sweat running on my face. Okay. So, I got me a little, little harvest. Just a little harvest. About to take this inside, put it in something, and go and wash my face and just wait for the rain. All right, y'all. Ooh, y'all see how I'm glistening? Yeah, that's, that's being out there short, short times. That is what's keeping me from really being out there working in my garden. I forgot to get that yellow bell pepper. I'm going to go back and get that yellow bell pepper before I go inside. Um, as a matter of fact, let me put this stuff down. Because I don't want nothing to get my bell pepper. Alright. Let's go get this bell pepper. Yeah, y'all. This, this heat. Whew. This heat has kept your girl inside, out of the garden. Okay, let's see. Let me see if I can hold it and cut it. All right. All right, yep. Yeah. That's the one I'm going to cut. All those leaf footed bugs. Oof. Um, I'll let that one stay on. It's, oh yeah, it's a little soft. I'll cut that off and I will use the rest of it. All right, y'all. Oh, let me get out of here. Oh, them plants done grew up and it's so tight. Up in there, I am barely fitting anymore. 
all right y'all i just wanted to kind of bring you guys over today to the harvey garden just to kind of let y'all see what's going on let y'all see that Ooh, i'm not out in the garden as much as i want to be like i said because of the heat because of the rain and because of working but time to get better but i'm still growing i'm still able to harvest so i hope you guys are harvesting out of your garden uh, i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful day y'all stay safe and y'all be blessed and i'm going to take this little harvest inside with me and enjoy all right y'all have a wonderful day bye